Doing. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today, we decided to do a little daily vlog here in Florida because we are gonna go thrifting. And we just know you guys, you're our people with the thrifting vintage, home decor, everything. So, we figured it'd be a fun vlog to do for a daily vlog. We also need to go to like a grocery store. We're kind of getting out of the house and doing some stuff. Um, hi, Booker. Mm -hmm because it is a little chilly today. So it's not gonna be a beach day. Just changing your diaper. It's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. The drama, drama, drama. Hunter is making breakfast. He is the breakfast daddy, which we love. And yeah, then we'll get the day started. So let's do it. So eggs are nice and Orange. We love it. Some gorgeous steaks. You can do it. Come on. Keep going. He hates crawling. <laughs> he always cries when he crawls. He just doesn't want to have to put in the work. We're going to have to change that. You've got to get to it. He just crawls to me and then goes to my feet. And then I pick you up. <laughs> Every time. Every time. No shortcuts in this family. We do things the hard way. Okay. We work hard. Steak and eggs. This is our breakfast of choice. Hunter's converted me. And honestly, it's a slay, so I'm not complaining. I love it. And it has so much protein in it, it keeps you really full. So it's great. Can we do a little, uh, little cottage cheese? Cottage cheese with it. A little hot sauce on the cottage cheese. Anyway. Did you want hot sauce? Yeah. That's good. We're really liking this cheese, by the way. It's so good. Fast fed raw cheese, sweet red. Yum. Yeah. We have the craziest story. It's not that crazy, but last night. We were at dinner and we met our waiter's name was Smoke and we literally yeah. freaked out. He was like, hey I'll take your order tonight, I'm Smoke. He was like, wanna smoke? Like kinda and like I was, mumbled I was, it. I was, like, I was like, wait, your name's Smoke and he was like, Yeah, the one and only and I was like Not no. the one and only, because I got one right here and he was like, No way He was so excited and he so started cool. hugging Smoke and they like to cook a picture together and we'll, we'll put the picture on the screen. Yeah, it was so cute. And he said that his dad and grandfather are all named Smoke. And we were like, that is so epic. Mm. It's really cute. It was really super cute. So we enjoyed that. This is literally the breakfast of champions. It's I, a good breakfast. I used to think our oatmeal was, mm -hmm. but it wasn't enough fuel. Not enough protein. It's so good. But this is so good. It keeps you full all day. I even it really, really just gives it. you like a, a ton of energy. So much energy. Um, it keeps you full. I want to clean this place up before we do anything. Yeah, yet. we need to tidy this place. It's like kind of gotten a little bit crazy. We got to do a clean routine. We had a busy Monday and Tuesday uh -huh. of work, uh -huh. and we just let this place go. We were so. in survival with the baby and trying to court. Smoke's booster chair is like covered in bananas. Dried bananas. Dried bananas. It's so bad. I ordered a little um, travel size branch basics for when we were down here. It's literally so cute. I didn't even know they did the little travel size. I just think it's adorable. And I also ordered for our cottage the hand soap because I was like washing dishes and then would wash my hands with like the intense hand soap and it was just stripping it and it was, my hands were getting so dry. So I just ordered all these little things together. You know, we use Branch Basics at home. They are all non-toxic, clean, mineral-based and biodegradable um, cleaning products. So they're all pet and baby safe. We transitioned to non-toxic cleaning products when Smoke was born. And we're really obviously trying to make the change in every area of our life that we can. But the cleaning products I know are such a big one. And they have a really cool system. It's like a concentrate base. So 
the what they send in the travel pack is just like an all-purpose cleaner which you can use everywhere and then a little foaming wash um, and then this is a refill so you can remake these basically you just order the concentrate and then you make those and you glass bottles like the ones I have at home I've showed them before and you pour the concentrate in with like water and make solutions based on like the kitchen the bathroom all-purpose whatever you can use them all over the house all fragrance free like I said I think a lot of people don't even know that cleaning products ha can really disrupt your hormones like if you're having issues like autoimmune or um, any other hormonal issues it's in bad. men or so many, women it's so many yeah it's so many chemicals it's not natural and it's just can actually mess with your system way more than you think I was kind of resistant to make the shift to um, to non-toxic so I was like oh like it's not gonna work as well but they have been absolutely wonderful and I just feel so much like safer having these around Smokey I can clean all of his booster chairs I can clean all of his toys um, and just having him on the counter and stuff it just makes me way more conscious of like what we're actually using in our house and I mean I should have been before but you guys know just sometimes it takes a baby to really give you a kick in the behind to get your shit together so we really really liked the cleaning products um and i didn't know they had a travel kit so when we were down here i was like wait this is so cute just as normal as you can see everything's so clean i even at home have the oxygen boost which you can use for laundry i use it to clean our sink which i used to use like bleach for and i think i showed that um on my instagram recently like i'll let the powder just soak so really like they it's just like kills all the birds with one stone um, but they also gave me a discount code which i'll leave in the description box down below and you guys should try it out their stuff's really great and i honestly have to say again i was just surprised at how well the cleaning products work like you don't have to use chemicals to get stuff clean especially like if you're using it on a daily basis and every day like it does not need to be that strong and like stripping everything um so just using like more gentle products on a daily basis it is the way to go and it's just so much healthier and safer for your family and just a big shift that i've been really proud to make and really love the brand so you guys check them out and you can use my code i'll have all that down below hunters are cooking steak on this stove so it's like greasy Voila, look how clean with just these two. Told you guys, they really do the job. Are you critter crawler? Are you? No, it's clean, babe. Good job. It's clean, right? Yeah. Time to flip the couch. Um, you care about shower? No, go ahead. You're so sweet. Look at you. <laughs> Mmm, you smell so good. I think it's true for everybody the more like sun-kissed you are I feel like makeup like almost doesn't even look good like I've been putting makeup on and I'm like look it just looks weird maybe I just need to adjust my makeup but I'm like I just feel like it looks so much better without but I might do like a little concealer today because I'm breaking out since I've had smoke I've broken out more around my mouth, which I think is pretty, I'm pretty positive is hormonal, so could just be still regulating from postpartum, but it's annoying. I never had that. My skin when I was pregnant was 
so good. It was the best skin I've ever had. I'm hoping that this weekend we get some warm weather. I think we will. It's been pretty warm and then it just kind of dropped down to still nice and sunny out. 62, 63 uh, degrees. Yeah. But the beach when it's like windy and that temp is like, it's a little chilly and Hunter and like, I are like, okay, we're not that, not that desperate to get out to the beach when it's that cold, so we'll just wait for warm weather and we just use it as an opportunity to, you know, get some stuff done on the days where it's a little bit colder. I know, isn't it so nice? Isn't it so nice to just take a shower by yourself? No. And I, I was, uh, I posted on Instagram um, yesterday because since we've been down here, like, I don't know if you guys know, like, traveling with kids or a baby, if you have one, you know the vibes, but um, I feel like every, it was pretty much every shower or, like, bath that I had had was, like, with smoke, so it would be after the beach, I would throw him in the bath and, like, scrub him down and get all the sunscreen and everything off, and then it just turned into like that was my bathing time too because if you know you know like just hectic and so i'd be like i'll just jump in with him rinse down um if i needed to rinse my hair i would and then we were like 10 days in and i'm like oh my god i have not taken just like a literal like full shower by myself without a baby um and so yesterday i took my like first solo shower and it was life-changing and i think hunter's taken maybe like a couple more than that but he just is he's in there right now and he's like this is the most amazing thing i've ever done i'm like i know when when you're a parent like a shower alone just hits different it's the best thing ever um it's like a treat it's so funny okay we've got a little makeup on for the day i think we feel better Okay, for some reason I just like hate my hair down lately. I don't know what it is, but I just don't feel cute. My hair down. It's very strange. Um see I just want to put it back. I'm like, it's not the vibe. But I like this little headband. It's cute. And I'm really weird about my short hair it's just not giving i don't know what it is guys it's not giving i mean it, is, uh, it does sometimes but not every day i think i actually found a new way to style it i don't have time to do it right now but i was on tiktok and i was watching some like curly hair videos of girls that like don't have curly hair because i love curly hair but i don't have curly hair see that's just so much cuter um and there's like kind of a method to make it look a little bit more natural so I'm gonna try it the next time I wave my hair which I'll do that like literally tonight or something I just don't have time right now but if you put a little curl cream in it like after you wave it it kind of makes it look natural so I'll try it and Hunter has curl cream because she has curly hair but if it's not like curly or or wavy I just don't love it straight I don't know why I just feel like it looks like basic just doesn't jazz me up. Okay, I'm ready. Doing pink and green today. Drain her up a little. He gave me this little heart. Came in the box, so cute. Okay, and now we're good to go. Got my acne. So okay, guys. So we are pulled up to our first thrift store. Um, and things I'm kind of looking for, I just like to look in different locations because there's always like different vibes and we love like beach vibes energy. I also love that um, in Florida, I feel like a lot of the, like it's sort of like outdated, like 90s beachy stuff. So I'm like, I just have this like gut feeling there'll be some cool like patterns and prints on some of the clothes and maybe some of the furniture will be like, cool I, I don't know i just have a good feeling about it but you just never know till you go so could be totally shitty but we're just gonna try um so we're gonna run into the first one it's always hit or miss with thrifting but let's check it out somebody's awake hi good morning, good morning. Let's, go thrift. let's go thrift you're gonna hate it okay cough off wow Ooh, look at that artwork those are cute 
Oh my god. See, this is the vibes I was thinking. So many bed frames. Oh my god. Um, this is actually a precious little stool. This is so cute. I know the rocker's cute. She said there's a bigger one. Um, look at those faces. Oh my god, this is so cute. I know. Wait, these are adorable. Are these salt and peppers? Oh my god, these are so cute, guys. Four dollars. Love them. I would love to like do some like little room makeovers for people and like come to thrift stores and like do everything through thrift. I just think that's so fun. There's this girl on TikTok that does that. Her style's kind of crazy, but it's just like so fun. She just goes and like does everything for thrifting and it's just so fun to watch. I'm like addicted, I don't know why. This table's not bad actually, Hunter. It's like a real wood table. See, 249. Yeah, that's adorable. This is super traditional, but it, in like more of an eclectic house, it could look pretty cool. Wait, you know what would be cool is if you like recovered that in cool fabric. Yeah. Interesting. Like a storage bench, yeah. but, but even in like cooler the, even fabric. The red, though, it's kind of cool for like an eclectic house. Yeah, totally. Like a beach cottage. Yeah. Love that idea. See if you're into the boxer short trend, like come to the PJ section. Looking them boxer shorts. Coming, hold on. Classic. Already rushing me. Haven't even been to the first store. Okay, so this is the bigger store, and I'm. This one's gonna be it. I can feel it. I was like, I can't feel it. You can't feel it. I mean, you're such a hater. No, I. I mean, you know, I love thrifting just as much as anybody. You have to like really be in the mood and the vibe to like dig and like really get creative. But I think I'm really tired today. Yeah. I've been up. Hunter went. I woke up at 5:30 and went down to F45. It's like, yeah. which is Earth 35 Earth. minutes away from us. Yeah. Crazy. It was an early morning for me. Yeah. Booker woke us up. He was starting to have a night terror mm -hmm. at 5.30. I know. And I woke up and just kind of back, went back to sleep. So I was like, I'm just going to work out before Smoke wakes up. But now I'm like, tired because tired, we didn't go to sleep till what? Like 11.30. It says I got six hours. Six hours? Mm -hmm. No wonder. What? Yeah, you need a minimum of eight. Mm. You do. for the, the do not in and out of the car. It's kind of heavy if you're like the wife. Okay, it's a little bit bigger in here. I do really like their model. They're like, if it's been in the store for like two weeks, it's like 25% off of it. It's been in a month, it's half off, so they just like keep moving stuff. Keep the stuff moving. I love that. Yeah. It's kind of cute little beach artwork. It'd be fun to bring down back a piece from the beach for our house. That's pretty. All the colors. Bring back Shut up. Oh, that's cute. Hunter, who does that remind you of? <laughs> yeah. A lot of frames ruin it. The frames are, yeah, they can ruin it real fast. Like the hardest part about finding good art is like the frames. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Smokey, you have so many fans here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. It's kind of nice. It is cute. This place is, by the way, is called Path of Grace. And they've got this on lockdown, you guys. And the staff's really nice. Um, they have so much stuff. It's crazy. Oh my god, baby clothes. Hunter, Hunter, baby clothes. Score. I had a girl that is literally the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop, no shorts. So cute. Always have more stuff for the girls, as they always say. Didn't really see anything for the boys. Ooh, textiles, my favorite. This is nice. It's all folded and stuff. <gasps> yes, you can always find the best quilts. It's pretty cute with like the yellows and stuff. Vintage blankets are just, if you followed any of our thrifting vlogs, there's something I can't get enough of. I don't know what it is. These are actually a really good size. Cute. This one's cute, just like soft colors. Okay, when I'm thrifting, I like to like, when I see something I think I like, I like to kind of walk away and then if I'm thinking about it, I'll go back unless I'm just like, I absolutely need that 100% or else you can end up with like a lot of stuff and you just have to be careful about what you pick, so. Okay, nothing we can live without. Like I said, you want to be picky. So, on to the next. 
You know, places like that are where you do find prize pieces. Well, this is why you have to thrift because you got to dig for the, for the gold. It's like treasure hunting. That's part of the thrill. Guys, this next thrift store is called Haven House. Crazy, right? So there's got to be something in here. I'm like, it's not looking very promising on the outside, but you never know. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> huh? <laughs> so good. Here we go, baby. Hunter's thrilled. Old honey? No, they like incorporate some <laughs> new stuff. I'm really into the jewels right now, and I feel like thrifted jewelry is so fun. Oh, see, oh my god, cute. So cute, getting. Hunter's, Hunter's like, who's coming to get that? <laughs> and a broken glass. <laughs> but you know. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so old school. I love it. Hey, if any of y'all need a single coaster, <laughs> they have it at Haven. Stop. You're like looking at yourself. You're so beautiful. This couch is so cute. Oh my god, it's yellow sectional. $238. Are you literally kidding me? <gasps> this would look so cute in the Nashville house. Hunter, what do you think about this for the Nashville house? I like the shape. I know. I don't dig the color. I love the color. I mean, it's a cool vibe. I just don't think it'll look good in the in the townhome. Yeah. This color. Okay. With like the black fireplace and like. That's true. I forgot about the black fireplace. If the if we repanel it though, it'll look cute. it would look cute. Also, if any of y'all are looking for a picture of, <laughs> of a young man you don't know, they have it at Haven Home. I will say this couch looks better. And the lighting from this side. Let's see, like the over there, that color looks really yellow. But over here, not bad. What do you think? And like, this, like the pillow. I mean, I think it's cute. It's kind of nineties, I like. I mean, it really like works once I'm in the frame because it makes sense with this aesthetic, <laughs> doesn't it? I was gonna do a little t-shirt run through. This little Hawaiian guy is cute. I have an idea. I've been really liking like slouchy shirts. I'm like, maybe I can cut this. And then I also, this one's just solid, but I really like the color. Oh shoot. Is there stains on that? Yeah, damn it. That's a good color. Okay, Hunter's gonna sit in the car with smoke. I go into the next. This one's an antique ball. Okay, this table. Beautiful. Oh, Hunter, I love, love this one. This is sick. Please. French oak dining chairs for the whole set. That's cute, guys. Wow. Hunter would like that a lot. It's nice wood. This is actually exactly the size of our like table in our townhouse, but Hunter and I have been saying we want like real wood. Let's see. Oh, kind of expensive, but that's because it's nice. Wow. Pretty. Look at that back there. That's cool. This light fixture is cool. Oh, it's like an octopus. That's awesome. Vintage. That's so cool though, like, kind of well done. Like, it's a vibe. Yeah. That's cool. It's like a double-sided desk. That's so pretty. I mean, I don't love the, like, orniness of it, but the size is cool. Hunter and I always talk about that, doing a double-sided desk, but if you could, like, rebuild that in a modern shape, like a more modern finish, I mean, or, like, um edges size is really cool good stuff in here wow i'm impressed if you needed like farmy antiques that chair is adorable so cute cute chairs they're beachy nice oh cute for a little cottage little chairs Prices are definitely like more like antique prices, like two thousand for a table, a thousand for a set of chairs. So this is not necessarily thrifting. This is like real antiques, but you gotta mix them to get the good vibe. So cute. We didn't get any furniture, but I got three more, or yeah, three more pair of earrings and a really cute bracelet. And now I'm like, why have I not been thrifting jewelry before? Since I'm such a jewelry girl, I'm like taking the chains off and we're just gonna get all the vintage jewelry so i'll do like a full haul when we get home i'm probably doing it on tiktok too but 
Oh god. Alright, um, last place. This one looks like a pretty good one. Deep and wide. Smoky Hot Wheels! I love Hot Wheels! What'd you just say? This is pretty badass. Hunter goes, now nah, this is pretty badass. You think we got a spot in the house for this? Absolutely not. <laughs> that is pretty cool though. That is a nice boat. Very Ralph Lauren. So cool. How fun would that be to do like family picks in? So cute. So cute. Jesus. Wood carving. Huh? Look at these shoes. Where? Oh my god. Ridiculous. Only in Florida. Okay, I love this piece. This kind of reminds me of the sideboard in our current house. Um, but it's a little bit more simple and it's like little ridges on it. Let's see what's inside. Nice storage. Really cute little media console. Um, let's see if we can find a price. I don't see anything, but that's really cute. And then this little plaid sofa is cute. It's like wooden legs. No arms or anything, but I like it. Okay, I've been wanting to make Smokey a little Easter basket, and this is so cute. Seven dollars. It's the perfect size for him. Maybe some books. Tails, this looks fun. So hit or miss with the books, I never know what he's gonna like. I have one of these flap ones at the house and he doesn't love it, but these graphics are a little more fun. So, and I found this fireman's jacket, but we're like, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's almost like a car hug, but it's oh. a fireman's jacket. It's really cool. That would be sweet in winter time. I know, right? Of course, we're going into winter, uh, to summer, though. I you always probably... find my jackets like this time of year. You do. It's pretty cool. Okay, quick Whole Foods stop. Let's do it, buddy. Stocked up for the week. Okay. Almost done. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. Right, just got home. Got all the Whole Foods bags. We're going to unload. And there was some boxes on the porch. She was going to do some unboxings, probably. You want to give me a ball? I gave him a little piece of coconut and he's chewing on it. I love it. Is that good? Are you a beach boy? With your coconut? Mmm. Ball from last night. Want some? Fuck that coconut. Mm. Open. Ah. Mmm. So hot. Oh, this one. Mmm. We were saying that Smoke like learned, he really has taken a turn on this trip on, this on trip. eating solids. Like yeah. he loves them now. He's been chowing down every day on chowing this trip. Down. Okay. Good job, Smokey. All right, I think we're gonna do sunset at the beach tonight because we did not get to enjoy the beautiful weather. So, but usually when there's beautiful weather, there is always a really nice sunset. Um, so I think that would be fun to do and like the sunsets are really fun just to like go out there and sit on a little blanket and enjoy smoke. Okay. You said no more vlogging. Okay, pause, I'll be back. Okay, we've got two packages in the mail that I thought we could unbox. One is an order from Nordstrom. Cute is this with little lilies and butterflies on a tube top. I was like, I just needed it and love it. This was, um, I'll link it, but Nordstrom, $20. This brand called Edic Edic Ted or something. It's like, like edited, but like this, Edic Ted, like whatever. track pants from them. And I thought they were so cute. I love the blue, baby blue color. These would honestly be so cute together. Top. I thought was cute. I loved the color, colors I should say. Just cute little tank and I love the length of it. Um, just to wear like lower rise stuff or like loose fitted pants. I always love like a loose fitted bottom and like a fitted top. Next is Revol. First is this bikini by Superdown, which I just loved the pattern. And all of my bikinis from uh, Revolve that I've gotten recently. I've gotten small tops and the small tops have been really tiny. So I went medium this one and now it looks kind of big, but whatever it'll do. I don't mind having coverage on the top. Um, and it also has like a rubber lining, which is awesome. 
um, really cute, love the colors. And then I, this is what the bottoms look like, really cute, and I went medium in this also, I always do medium in my bottoms. Um, but I just love the pattern, I thought that was a really cute find for Revolve Swim. Beautiful dress, I've been on the hunt of finding dresses lately that fit my vibe, I'm very picky with dresses. And I just thought this was so cute in the little orange melon color. And look at the top, it's like a little, not like corset vibe, but a little bit. And it's just enough girly, but just very me. Next is a pair of jeans. These are girlfriend denim, but they kind of look like the Free People barrel jeans. I actually don't own Free People barrel jeans, but this is like their version of them. And they look like a little less barrel-y, so we'll have to try those on, but I really wanted to try them, and I always love girlfriend denim, so I thought those were really cute. Satin skirt by LPA, and I love LPA stuff. Like, it's just probably my favorite line out of, like, the Revolve brands. I just think the stuff is really pretty, and it was sort of more, like, low-rise, which I love right now, um, and in this really pretty silver color, so really just loved that i would honestly wear this with like sneakers graphic tees but it's also really pretty to like dress up um and that's like really thick and nice quality so very excited about that and then lastly is this little belt i saw it is by super down i really like super down some of the stuff is like a little bit young but the price point is so good everything's like under hundred dollars and i usually always really like the fit of the super down stuff um i think that's also one one of their other really good lines so um this little heart belt which i just think is so cute um i love a good little chain belt I always love wearing them around like dresses and maxi skirts and stuff like that and you can adjust this one with the length obviously and I just love the heart and I love that it's silver so really cute this was a good round of packages okay here's the jeans and they're so cute actually but watch out but these are really cute and they fit really well I feel like they're not quite as wide but you sort of get that baggy ah! effect which is so cute I actually did not bring one pair of blue jeans down here and i've wanted to grab for jeans so often so i had some from beachy come they're like a light wash with rips and then this is the other pair um and it's just nice to have like some baggy denim just to wear with like little baby tees and like flip-flops and throw on and stuff but i'm always looking for good jeans so that's like an always on but um the shock addiction does not stop even if i'm on a trip so so cute 10 out of 10 all right y'all it's much later um we did not get to go to sunset because smoke fell asleep and he fell asleep like 20 minutes before we were gonna leave and we were like if we bring him out to the beach he's gonna be crying and he's gonna be really like just tired and we're gonna want to put him down anyways so we're like it's just not gonna happen if you're in a deeper sleep we would have probably just like ran out there and like put the monitor on but I don't know, it didn't work out the way. It wasn't worth it, so um, that's all right. But um, we did bath time and everything, and he's down now. And Hunter and I are making a little dinner. Um, we're making some wild-caught salmon that we got at Whole Foods. And I'm going to put it on some greens. And the carnivore is going to eat salmon with me. Salmon instinct. Oh, you're having surf and turf? Surf and turf. Cute. Love that. Okay, you think that's done? Yeah. Cool. Is that that's probably yours though, right? We, or are you gonna have steak? steak. Okay. Get on there. Yum. Diddy dum. Okay, so I'm doing greens, some avocado, salmon, and I just drizzled olive oil and lemon over the greens. Very simple, easy meal. And then I got this um sauerkraut at Whole Foods today. I love this stuff. It's like beet sauerkraut, but it's just like yummy and tangy. I like it on things, especially with like avocado or whatever. It's delish. So, quick dinner, and then Hunt and I are probably gonna hang out for a little bit. Smokey is already asleep, like I said, and it's eight, so you know, it's our time. Good morning, guys. Um, all right, we just got in a workout. We're so, well, I'm very proud of myself because I have totally fallen off the wagon while we've been here. Um, you worked out three times last week. I did? Yeah. I don't know. I just honestly feel like even though we're, you know, 
Well, we're not really on vacation. Hunter and I were just saying how this is like, a, it's a weird like t time because we're like kind of on vacation, but like not really like still doing like our normal everyday things. So it's been hard to like find just a new routine because I know this is like temporary. We're like going back home. So just for Anyways. some reason, like it, be it became our busiest work month that we've had. Yeah. Probably in like 12 months. We've had like the most campaigns, most like things to shoot. Totally. Most like partnerships, which is not, it's great. It's but we can't complain very at all. grateful and everything. But just so y'all know, like we've been kind of like nonstop here. Yeah. And so that's why we decided to only do one vlog a week. Uh, so we can like get a lot of work done and like not be filming all the time. Cause we don't want to film us just like sitting at a computer all day. Yeah. Um, but obviously still trying to like have fun and squeeze in like beach days and activities wherever we can. Um, but which is good because it's a good representation of if we were some more time here, like it's not just going to be vacation. And that's exactly what we kind of wanted. We wanted to see like, okay, well, do we still like the lifestyle? And I would say, yes, it's still better than not being near the sun and the ocean. Cause at least you get to like go out and do that stuff in between. I just discovered, um, I don't know why I haven't been pulling up the F45 app, but if you're an F45 girl, they have the workouts on the app and they just do them. You do them all with body weight or if you're at a gym, you can add weights. But I was like, Hunter, we should go out when he naps, just like pop outside on the sand right near the water and do our workouts like on the F45 app to get in good cardio. So. It's about to sizzle. So okay. It up. Yeah. Um, anyway, so Smokey's actually napping right now. Um, I wanted to, I got a DM from a girl and she was like, thank you for, you know, mentioning that you and Hunter haven't talked much, like on vacation, just cause like, if you guys know, vacationing with kids is like, it's just a totally different experience than when you're on a vacation by yourself. And I never wanted to feel like, obviously, social media when you see like fun pictures and videos like on Instagram and TikTok those are just like fun expressions of like art whatever creativity whatever you want to talk like call them but it's not necessarily like reality of real life and I just always try to remember that um everything even like real honest like creators there it's still like curated right because it's like a fun way to kind of like translate a beautiful moment into like a photo or a video and it's not intended to like make people feel bad but i think that automatically you just take it that way on the other side because you're like oh wow like well that looks perfect like that's not real life at all i even do it too i'm on this side of it and i know like what the this position feels like to like create beautiful imagery and videos and stuff like that um but that's why i always love youtube because you guys get to definitely see like more of the full picture now we're, again we're not honestly showing we're not going to show every single fight every meltdown of our baby every um family struggle like i just don't think it's healthy to expose that much of yourself on the internet and i'm just never going to do that so this transparently because i know like a lot of people are like you guys have the best life like you just you know whatever going to vacation for a month and i'm like this has definitely not been just like a pure vacation yes i am very grateful and very aware that we are super blessed and privileged to be able to be here and pick up our life and come with our baby to a beach house for a month 1000 percent, and we work really really hard to be able to do something like this um but it's not like we're literally just like all rainbows and butterflies over here like it was i was so stressed out the first week that we were here because trying to juggle trying to get videos up and meet contract deadlines and stuff like that and also having a baby and hunter and i are not used to like trying to juggle that back at home because we have home we have help at home we usually that's why we have help there so that we can both like get all of our work done so that was definitely a challenge and Hunter and I finally got a babysitter so we could go out on date night and we literally looked at each other and we're like, oh my god, I feel like we haven't even spoken like real eye to eye like Hunter Juge um, in probably, yeah, like the full first 10 days we were here. And if you're a parent, you know, it's just like ships passing in the night, like you're just going through the motions, like doing 
you're taking care of the kids, you're working, you're moving super fast. Like it's just wild. And we realize like how important it is to get that time together to like reconnect and just check in because other than that, it's just, I don't know what it is about having a kid, but like you're just on this like autopilot sort of like survival mode, just trying to take care of them and you're so focused on them. There's just like not a lot of time left for like you two and you have the whole other topic of like becoming a mom or a dad and reorganizing your identity rediscovering it for that matter um and i still don't feel like hunter and i have been able to do that it is like every month i'm just like who am i like i don't know i'm letting go of like the old version of myself but trying to find my footing in the new version and yes i've loved motherhood and like i love hanging out my baby and the, all those things are amazing but it still takes like time to get used to if that makes sense and you're like okay what's like my new what are my new activities what's my new vibe like i would equ equate it to as big of a transition when you graduate college and you go in the real world that one shook me up for like a good year or two and i was just like whoa is this life like it was just such a big transition and i feel like i'm going through that again but with motherhood but this part it's just like you have no other option but just like take care of them like put your head down which i like kind of love um and obviously love spending time with him but it's like who are you you know and there's not a lot of time to focus on that um and especially of being here like don't have our normal support system um our friends and family and you know our even like our gym crew that we see at the gym every day and our workouts like all those things that like kind of keep you sane um we've been out of whack so obviously i knew that was gonna happen but i didn't really like think it all the way through the loop so if i'm being honest it's been like a little bit tough for me but again grateful and so happy to be here and like in the sun and i love the ocean and like i wouldn't trade it but um yeah it's just like a funny experience i don't know being here for an extended period of time i do feel like we've been able to like reflect a lot here and it just a lot of time thinking about transitioning into parenthood and i don't know like who i am and identity and stuff like that and I know it's just like a never ending journey um, and we all go through it, but yeah, it's just a wild one. So I don't know, just wanna keep it real with you guys um, and just remember to not let social media sway you too much because I mean, I even let it, I, I do it too and I'm very easily influenced. It's just a very strange dynamic, but that's why I love YouTube. It just feels more like real life and it doesn't feel as, guarded or something i don't know what it is but i just feel so safe here on this platform and just like i can be myself There's something about those short form platforms where i just don't feel like i can be me the ups man is he a package for me Ooh, let's see hi hello <laughs> figured those were for me thank you you're welcome have a good one you too Okay guys, we're gonna end this vlog here. We're gonna start another new weekly vlog um, or next few days, I don't know. I think we're gonna do a couple more as um, this trip comes to an end, but we love you, thank you for watching, and I think we're gonna go to the beach today because it's so pretty. I'm excited about that. Okay, bye. Someone sweet and a little rough, but not enough to smooth me out. Whose heart is young and soul is old If they wanna get high then I'd be down